an easy way to scan that situation is to use the denture as a pickup impression. And frankly, this summarizes it, the speed, the comfort, but there's also some real key factors such as patient education. You know, you can engage the patient with these scanners because they can, you know, see the scans. You can have them either on a TV in your practice, which many clinicians do, or simply just have it on a laptop and show the patient after you've taken the scan. And the wow factor is incredible. You know, these days it's getting harder and harder. You know, it's more competitive than ever before to be a dentist. And you really need to set yourself apart from the competition. And the easiest way to do that is technology. One interesting thing to me is when I show my patients scans, one of the most, you know, incredible thing for them is the color. That's what they comment on most commonly is that, wow, that thing is, is, is in color and it blows their mind. Um, and, and also it's easy to modify and store. There's no more, you know, stone models everywhere, you know, dealing with impression material, which you can't modify. You know, when you take an impression, you just pray that there's no air bubbles because if there is, you're redoing it. Um, so there's just endless, endless benefits. Now, how do you take a digital impression? Frankly, these days compared to what we went through when we first got a scanner, it's very simple. There's a lot of AI now in scanners that help to make the scan very simple, very easy to do. And you simply just put the scanner into the patient's mouth, start the scanner button, and then you move the scanner across the areas you want to scan. And in my opinion, the best way to scan is to keep your eye on the screen or the laptop. Rather than watching the mouth, you should be watching the screen itself to see what actual data you're capturing, because this enables you to stop the scanner if you need to and catch things early. The beautiful thing about scanners is that they can be stopped and started anytime. So if you notice anything, a bit of blood on the margin, you can stop it, you know, clean the area, control the area, and then rescan that area rather than, you know, dealing with impression material where you have to redo the whole thing. And this is a simple diagram showing you step-by-step -step scanning. Oftentimes you start on the occlusal, let's say for a crown preparation, you would start on the occlusal distal to the crown preparation, and then you would move uh, mesially. And if you're doing a full arch scan, you would move all the way to the contralateral side. If you're doing just a quadrant scan, you would stop near the canines or incisors, and then you rotate the scanner buccally and, and lingually. And, and essentially that's how you do a scan. When you rotate buccally, you go back to where you started, you rotate lingually and you and you come back again. And I've got a video to demonstrate that. This is a full arch scan in a nutshell. So you started on the on the occlusal aspect, you rotate buccally or lingually, which one you choose doesn't really matter. And then you go all the way around. And when you get good at doing this, you can easily take a full arch scan within 60 seconds using modern scanners. This shouldn't be something that takes five minutes or more. And here's another video here. This shows a quadrant scan, occlusal first, rotate, rotate. And oftentimes when I'm taking these scans, it is only then I would go back and fill the areas of the contacts as you can see here. And going uh, perpendicularly, as you can see, is a great way to fill those contact areas. And it really is that simple, guys. Now, why the digital workflow? And, and you know, it's quite self-explanatory why these days, but it's just more efficient. Not only is the scan faster than an impression for most experienced clinicians, and you can be experienced too with a bit of practice, but also the, the dialogue with the lab is a lot faster. You know, sending a scan to your lab is like sending an email. It is so fast and quick these days and they can immediately get the file and start working on it. You know, compare that to impression, pouring up the impression, you know, disinfecting it, sending it to lab. And, and these days in a, you know, COVID era or let's say post pandemic era, uh, I think cross infection and disinfection is more important than ever before. And minimizing this handling of impression material, I think is critical. And so we surveyed over a thousand dentists. We got a thousand responses, which was massive. And it's probably one of the largest surveys ever conducted on intraoral scanners. And we got responses basically from everywhere around the globe. 
all the main continents, you know, Europe, Asia, North America, Africa, South America, and Australasia, we got survey responses from everywhere. And this basically gives you an, an indication of all the different countries and regions that, that answered. The top five responses were from India, United States, Australia, Canada, and Egypt. And I just wanted to share with you some of the details that we got from the survey. And so 82% or close to 82% believe that intraoral scanners are more accurate than traditional casting methods. Why this is very interesting for me is that if you asked that question five years ago, it wouldn't be this high. It would be closer to 10%. But these days, it's just accepted and appreciated this is the future. You know, this is a proven technology that works and it works very well. Here's something that was very interesting to me and in that the main reason for purchasing an intraoral scanner was the number one reason, recommendations by colleagues. And this was, you know, quite significantly more common of a reason than the accuracy of the system or the brand or the price. And I believe this is one of the reasons that Medit has done so well in the past four years is due to this, you know, glowing recommendations um, from their customers and that most people really enjoy using their Medit scanner. And lastly, we surveyed um, all the people that, uh, that, you know, completed the survey about the different types of scanners they use in their practice. And we asked them to, to rate these scanners. And Medit did very well across the board. The Medit i700 wireless was rated very highly i700 was rated second and i600 and this was again a completely objective survey of dentists this we were not sponsored by meta to any company this was done through idd and anyone who knows about the institute of digital dentistry which is a company i started knows one of the fundamental cores of our business is being completely brand agnostic and objective and this is why our reviews are so popular so you know this was quite interesting data for me to see how popular these scanners are now moving on from that so what can you actually use a scanner for now most of you will know that a scanner is not just used for fixed appliances you can actually use a scanner for every single indication in dentistry whether it's dentures crowns splints orthodontics everything i use a scanner for everything the only thing that really I need to take an impression for these days is if a patient comes with a dentulous ridges and I need to make them some dentures because still it's it's key to get a functional impression and I would take an impression but I would then scan that same impression but everything else I'm using a scanner for I literally don't use impression material in my practice anymore and you can see how well it works you know a lot of anecdotal evidence speaks to the fact that scanners are accurate but this is a full mouth rehab case that i completed uh, about three four i think maybe five years ago time flies these days and as you can see every single crown was fitting perfectly and this was with an impression uh, a digital impression not a traditional one this was using intraoral scanners and you can just see how uh, accurate everything is it just works Here's another case. This is a combination of, of crowns and bridges and, and also implant restorations. Again, everything completely impression-free and done using scanners. And with the Meta scanners, I've been using them for many, many years now, since 2019. And I've done everything with the Meta scanners, everything from a single crown to bridges to all on X. Um, every single thing can be done with these scanners. I was mentioning dentures. If a patient also comes with their own denture and it's a bit loose, an easy way to scan that situation is to use the denture as a pickup impression and then scan the, the, the reline that you have just taken and send that to your lab for a new denture.